Hello, welcome to part two where we cover the treatments for atopic dermatitis. If you missed the video last week, you should go back and watch that as it covers what atopic dermatitis is, how it's diagnosed, and what things we need to rule out before we go about treating for environmental allergies. Join me, you'll learn something today. So if your pet has been diagnosed with atopic dermatitis, the next question is how do we treat it? Well, there are a number of different treatment options and the specific treatment plan for your individual pet will vary depending on the severity of the symptoms, where the issues are, and if it's a seasonal or non-seasonal issue for your pet. We will often use topical therapies because when the allergen contacts your pet's skin, that is what will start that cycle of inflammation and itching. Topical therapies can help to remove allergens, help to moisturize the skin, help to improve that skin barrier again, and help to treat any secondary infections that pop up. Sometimes we can also use topical steroids in a spray form to help treat your pet. Second, we might use allergen-specific immunotherapy. A veterinary dermatologist can perform the tests necessary in order to check for which allergens your pet reacts to. The gold standard way to go about doing this is with an intradermal skin test where the dermatologist will inject tiny amounts of allergens into your pet's skin to see what sort of a result and reaction your pet has to those tiny amounts of allergen. Now in some cases we might be able to use those test results to reduce your pet's exposure to those allergens. So say if we know that your pet has a dust allergy then changing house filtration might be helpful, doing additional vacuuming might be helpful. I've had some times where patients have grass allergy and in those cases some clients will use an artificial turf instead of having grass for their pets to eliminate on in their yard. But often we can't completely avoid things like dust or pollen. So after an intradermal skin test is done, a veterinary dermatologist can get allergen specific immunotherapy and your pet can receive injections that gradually increase the exposure to the allergen that your pet is allergic to over time. This is not a quick treatment. You need to be giving these injections for a year before you can evaluate what sort of response your pet might have to them. Now about two-thirds to three-quarters of pets will have a good response to these injections and so where possible it is the treatment of choice and should be trialed. At the very least we might hope that your pet will need fewer other medications or other treatments or will have fewer secondary infections infections because of their response to allergen specific immunotherapy. If you can hear my dog, she's deeply asleep right now and she's making some noises as she dreams, so forgive that. <laughs> Another class of treatment options that we have are oral medications, so they're tablets or liquids that you give your pet by mouth. Now, the oldest treatment class that we have as far as oral medications goes are steroid treatments. The classic go-to is prednisone or prednisolone for our cats. Now corticosteroids like this are very effective and they are also very cheap. The downside is that they cause the most side effects. A lot of pets will increase the amount they pee, increase the amount they drink, their appetite will likely go up, some of them will have behavior changes, the commonality of these symptoms makes them undesirable for a lot of situations. So at this point it is considered best practice to use the lowest possible dose of a steroid when we need to and to then wean them down off of it and on to other medications that are safer for long-term use wherever possible. Cyclosporin or Atopica is wonderfully effective as well at reducing itching and has fewer side effects than corticosteroids do. It's a different type of anti-inflammatory so it's not a steroid and it still reduces inflammation which helps to reduce itching. Atopica is meant for long-term management of atopic dermatitis. It will not take effect quickly, it usually takes about a week 
to see the effect from this medication. The most common side effect that we'll see with cyclosporin is GI upset, so decreased appetite, vomiting, diarrhea, that sort of thing. A number of pets will adapt to it and we can also give it a frozen, which can be helpful for a number of patients. We can also generally reduce the frequency that we give this medication over time once the atopic dermatitis is better controlled. Apoquel comes as a tablet or a chewable medication and it's a newer medication than the previous two. Now it doesn't reduce the inflammation in the skin. What it does is disrupt the triggers that tell your pet that they are itchy. Now it also has fewer side effects than steroids do and it is very quick at being very effective for treating itching. It's only for dogs, however, cats cannot have it. We usually see rapid improvement within 24 hours, and you start by giving this medication twice a day, then you go down to once a day. Now, this medication can predispose patients to urinary tract infections, inflammation in the bladder, and GI upset like vomiting and diarrhea, and rarely we think that it also causes skin masses, and so there will be some patients where this medication isn't appropriate to use. However, like with everything, I always talk to people about how quality of life is far more important than quantity and the risk of these more serious side effects is low and we need to manage your pet's quality of life now. So, Apoquel can still be a wonderful option for some patients. Lastly, as far as oral medication options, we will often use omega fatty acids as well. This will help to improve the skin barrier and reduce inflammation in the skin. However, omega fatty acids are an adjunct treatment. They cannot be used solely and expect to see any decent result from them. They're just something that we add on to other treatments. Oh, I should also mention it takes up to six weeks to see a full difference after you start giving your pet omega fatty acids. The last classification of medication that we have are injectable medications and the option we have here is called Cytopoint. Now Cytopoint is a laboratory made protein that acts like it's part of your pet's body in order to reduce itching. So it works like your dog's own immune system in order to block the main protein that signals your pet to itch. One injection will usually last patients between four and eight weeks in duration, which can be wonderful for pets that don't take oral medications well. However, again, this is only for dogs. It does also seem to start taking effect pretty quickly, usually within a day or so your pet will feel some relief. Now I did want to add here a short section of things that really don't work well. I hear over and over and over again that people will tell me, well, I was giving them Benadryl or another antihistamine and it didn't make a difference. No, <laughs> the research on our pets using Benadryl or antihistamines that are meant for people indicates that those medications don't work well in our pets. At best, you might get a mild response, but really we need the medications that are designed for the cat and dog species and we can't use human antihistamines to treat pet itching effectively. Also, all of those things you'll read online about coconut oil or various other things that you slather onto the skin or feed to your pet, they don't work either. You shouldn't use them. They may cause your pet harm and they will not be effective. You truly need to see your veterinarian. Now we do have some additional considerations that we can implement as part of our treatment plan for atopic dermatitis. One, I will recommend that people wipe their pet's feet after they've been outside. This is because we know that contact to allergens is what starts this trigger of itching and inflammation and itching and inflammation. So the reduction of contact time for those allergens is very helpful. Since dust mites are such a common allergen, having HEPA filters within your household and doing things like washing bedding and vacuuming frequently is very helpful. We would also tend to avoid things like stuffed animal toys for pets that have
have these allergies as those are often full of dust and dander. When you are going about dusting or vacuuming, it's also very helpful to remove your pet from the area that you are doing that as you might be kicking up a lot of their allergen into the air and then if they come into contact with it, that will flare up their allergies. It will also be recommended for pets with atopic dermatitis to minimize house plants as they could be reacting to some of those as well. And any time that you need to do things like lawn mowing or weed whacking or gardening, you should also not have your pet around while you're doing those things as that will also put more allergens into the air which will tend to flare up your pet's symptoms. The main thing to remember here is that we cannot cure this and so often people are very frustrated with their veterinarian saying that you know I keep having to go back and go back well yeah if you have a pet with atopic dermatitis that is to be expected unfortunately because I can't cure this. We can implement medications that can help to manage it however but even so I would expect that there will be times where your pet will have flare-ups of their symptoms and will need to see your veterinarian. Every single time we need to be checking for secondary infections because that bacterial or yeast infection will make your pet far more itchy and we need to treat those every time that they're present. I do have huge empathy for all of my patients and all of their people that are dealing with this because it can be immensely frustrating. For me it's also frustrating. I wish I could cure it. I wish that I could give you this magic thing so that you would never have to deal with atopic dermatitis again. Unfortunately at this time that does not exist. So getting a veterinary dermatologist on board can be very helpful with getting the most effective treatment plan cobbled together and then unfortunately you just need to find a veterinarian that you work well with because you are likely to be a regular customer at that vet clinic. If you found this video I would love it if you would subscribe and if you know of anybody who could use the information please share it with them. I am really enjoying building this community of people who take caring for their pets seriously and who want to do the best they can for their pets health. I do put up a new video most Fridays. I look forward to seeing you in the next one and YouTube thinks that you'll like this video. See you next week.